want to multiply and write the answer in lowest terms or in simplified form. So first we have 12 35ths times 14 fifteenths. So to multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So multiplying the numerators, we would have 12 times 14. Multiplying the denominators, we would have 35 times 15. But because we want our answer in lowest terms, before we find these products, we want to simplify out all the common factors between the numerator and denominator. One way to make sure we find all the common factors would be to find the prime factorization of these factors. So let's show it this way, and then we'll also show a second method. 12 is equal to 4 times 3, and 4 equals 2 times 2. So the prime factorization of 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. The prime factorization of 14 is 2 times 7, so we have times 2 times 7. The prime factorization of 35 is 5 times 7. And the prime factorization of 15 is 3 times 5. Now that we only have prime factors, we can easily identify the common factors between the numerator and denominator that will simplify to 1. Notice we have a common factor of 3 as well as a common factor of 7. So 3 over 3 equals 3 thirds of 3 divided by 3, which equals 1. So 3 over 3 simplifies to 1 over 1. And 7 over 7 also simplifies to 1 over 1. So now we can find these products knowing our answer will be in lowest terms or completely simplified. So the numerator is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. And the denominator is 5 times 5, which equals 25. So the product in lowest terms is 8 25ths. Sometimes you'll also see the simplifying in this form here, where if we're able to recognize that 14 and 35 share a common factor of 7, and there are two 7s in 14 and five 7s in 35, we can simplify the 14 to a 2 and the 35 to a 5 here. And then if we recognize that 12 and 15 share a common factor of 3, and there are four 3s in 12 and five 3s in 15, we can simplify the 12 to a 4 here and the 15 to a 5 here. And now when we multiply, the product will be in lowest terms. 4 times 2 is equal to 8, and 5 times 5 equals 25. Let's look at our second example. Notice here we have a whole number times a fraction, so it'll be easier if we write 35 as an improper fraction with the denominator of 1. So 35 is equal to 35 over 1, or 35 ones, and then times 16 49ths. So the product will have a numerator of 35 times 16 and a denominator of 1 times 49, or just 49. Before we multiply, though, let's simplify out any common factors other than 1 between the numerator and denominator. Well, we know 49 is equal to 7 times 7, and 35 is equal to 5 times 7, so there's no reason to write the prime factorization of 16. So let's go ahead and show some work, though, and write 35 as 5 times 7. We'll go ahead and leave it as times 16, and then we'll write 49 as 7 times 7. So we can still see the common factor of 7 between the numerator and denominator without writing out the prime factorization of 16. So this will save us a little bit of work. 7 over 7 equals 7 sevenths, or 7 divided by 7, which equals 1, which we can write as 1 over 1. So now we can multiply, knowing the product will be in lowest terms. 5 times 16 equals 80, and our denominator is 7. So this is our product in lowest terms. We'll write this as a mixed number in just a moment, but let's also show the simplifying in this form here. We could have shown the work by putting 35 over 1, recognizing that 49 and 35 share a common factor of 7. And because there's 5 7s and 35, 35 simplifies to 5. Because there are 7 7s and 49, the 49 simplifies to 7. Now if we multiply, the numerator would be 5 times 16, which is 80. The denominator would be 1 times 7, which equals 7. So again, there is more than one way to show your work when multiplying fractions. To write 80 sevenths as a mixed number, we take the numerator of 80 and divide by the denominator of 7, 
and there's 1, 7, and 8. 1 times 7 is 7. We subtract. 8 minus 7 is 1. Bring down the 0. There's 1, 7, and 10. 1 times 7 is 7, and we subtract. We have a remainder of 3, which means if you did want to write 80 sevenths as a mixed number, it'd be equal to 11, which comes from the quotient. And to form the fraction part, we write the remainder of 3 over the divisor, which is also the original denominator. So 87 is equal to 11 and 3 sevenths. I hope you found this helpful.